Yeah. Hi and welcome. All right. Morning graphics. You're gonna look way look way now because I got my minx corpse right here. And it looks like we got a little female. I just want to show you some of the colors here. I gotta make a very quick video because I don't have much uh, memory left on the camera. Everything looks good. Paws look good. Uh, the teeth aren't ground down, so that's good. I know the lighting's not the best in here, but it's a very dark day out there, and it's, it's uh, we got a little female here. So this is a beautiful little animal. Uh, pelt is uh, don't want to get too close to the heat source. Is pretty prime. That trap really did a number. And uh, little female, so they're a little bit smaller than the males. So I got my board there ready to go. I'm just gonna. Uh, little tips because I might not be able to get through the entire skinning and pr uh, skinning and uh, fleshing and, uh, and boarding process. Uh, I might not have enough memory left to do it. And if that's the case, um, here's what you're going to do. You have kind of two methods that you can do here. Obviously, if you want to take a time at it, which although I do have a nether, uh, which call it uh, a uh, you know you brush them out. Start out with that. Make sure they're completely dry. And then you can get a spray bottle and lightly dampen the fur so you don't singe it uh, when you're uh, skinning it. Uh, so you can pull a little harder. Or you take your time. You don't wet the fur at all. Um, you don't want the fur soaked. You just want it damp uh, so that it doesn't singe fur. These are even worse than an otter for singeing. Um, so you want to really take your time with it. Uh, that's it. They don't take long. It's not like an otter. It's not going to take you hours to work on this. Uh, you know, you can pretty much pull them apart, but just pull easy on them. So I'll see how much filming I can get done. Uh, hopefully I'll get it all done. Shouldn't take me too long. Uh, the males and females have two different sizes. This is a female. So I'm going to go with a, uh, female board. I'm pretty sure it's a female. And, um, They'll dry in about three days, so it's kind of one of those things. When you start it, make sure you can complete the whole thing. Whole thing shouldn't take me more than an hour, uh, an hour anyway. Probably more like half an hour. It'll skin them in about five, ten minutes or whatever it is. And uh, fleshing them, there's a you know you, you leave the saddle, what they call the saddles on them. It's like a membrane, and you just take away the fatty stuff and the meaty stuff. There's not much to them, uh, so it's not a big, big, big job, but it is a delicate job. So I'm just going to talk about the cuts first. Uh, again, and brush them out a few times. So I love these little colors here. These are very, very nice. So you're going to make your, your, your typical incision from one leg to the next. Then you're going to do around the anus. Then you're going to split the tail. You'll peel out the legs. Then you'll just pull them down to the arms and legs. You can use a you know a screwdriver or something to get in between the, the pelt and, and, the, and the legs. Pull that and pull it down to the head. Just skin out the rest, past the ears, past the eyes, cut it at the nose. There you go. Um, it's a good idea once you get it out. If the, See the trap line here? Again, uh, this is another tip too. These guys are pretty fragile, so when you do catch them, I caught this one in a 160, which is a bit big for these guys. It was quick for them. Um, but because of the power of the trap, it might break their spine. And in this case, that definitely happened. This one's got a... He's pretty much broken. So when you're pulling on him, pull easy because you might pull him apart because there's nothing attaching him in the midsection. So just even use your hands to work it down rather and try to keep as much grease and oil off the pelt as possible. Uh, like I say, uh, look for burrs, look for all that stuff when you're, you know, combing them out. Get them nice and poofy. And uh, this is a very nice pile. So anyway, I'm going to get to it before my... Uh, uh, memory runs out. There we go.